Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I am your host, Tyranno Senpai, and welcome back to another Beast of the Mesozoic news video. And today we're actually going to be talking about both the Tyrannosaur series and the Ceratopsian uh, series. There's a lot of stuff we're going to be covering, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very short video because all these videos seem to have a common trend. <laughs> anyway, so with that said, let's go ahead and start talking. First up, uh, I want to talk about the Dialong Paradoxus, as this thing is now actually in the process of being sculpted. Check it out. <laughs> it's actually getting the head sculpt done, and it looks phenomenal. Look at that. Now, this is the 1 in 6 scale uh, model. It's not the 1 18 scale, uh, for those of you that um, are asking. And it looks really good from as far as I can see. I can obviously see that David Silva's taken a lot of inspiration from his Raptor series, the way these feathers are done, but they still look absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It, I also just like the crest, the eyes, like the little individual feathers that he sculpted in, the teeth. All this looks so beautiful. Now, when I first saw this photo, I thought it was the Moros for a moment, but then um, I realized uh, what it was by looking in the back and I realized there's only one dinosaur that's gonna have colors like that in the Beast of Mesozoic line and that's Dai Long. So yeah, Dai Long's now actually getting sculpted. Can't wait to see what it's gonna look like. The next creature we're gonna be talking about is the Proceratosaurus Bradley, Bradley as it has now just gotten its box art done and it looks breathtaking. One thing I want to complain about though this looks nothing like this. What happened? What what was this? Was there like some sort of change in this? Who's the artist? Who, who did this? Gabriel Uguedo. Wow. Um. Okay. Why did you decide to do this? Either way. I mean, aside from the fact that this looks nothing like this one, it still looks really good. I like the green, I like the background and the environment. I like the ferns, I like the tree, I like whatever that is. I think it's Cycads, maybe? And of course, the dinosaur itself. Again, the colors are way off, but it still looks good. I also like how this thing is pretty much just strangling the life out of this poor mammal. But hey, a dinosaur's got to eat, right? <laughs> what can you do? The last Tyrannosaur we're going to be talking about on this video is the Tyrannosaurus Rex itself. Why? Because the 135th scale model is being painted. That's right, folks. There it is. It's now being painted. Now, it's not finished by any stretch of the imagination. The mouth still needs to be painted, the, and so did the claws and the stand. This all needs to be painted. But for what um i can see it still looks really good i like this although one thing that does bug me is the fact that this is the 135th scale and not the 118th scale that i really 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 want i mean the 135th scale model's okay but the only one i want is the one from walking with dinosaurs which is kind of upsetting but uh hey ho what can you do either way this still looks like a very good looking t-rex i can't wait to see what it's what it's gonna look like when it's fully painted. I'm so excited to see it. And that's pretty much all the, uh, of the Tyrannosaurs. Now we're moving on to the next subject. And that is the Beasts of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series. Now it's nothing special. We're actually just going to be taking a look at some test shots of some dinosaurs that they're showing off. The first one is the Taurosaurus. And my god, does this thing look beautiful or what? Look at the colors. I like the blue. It's very bright and blue also just happens to be my favorite color. <laughs> as well as black. It looks beautiful. <laughs> I might actually consider getting this thing. The problem is though, it's hella expensive. And I'm already planning on getting the adult Triceratops and the Sinoceratops. So this might be a bit of an overkill, especially when we see the photos that are gonna be coming pretty shortly. And over here we have the adult Triceratops and it looks gorgeous. I'm looking at my subadult Triceratops right now, and this thing here, like, pretty much makes the subadult look ridiculously underdone. 
I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I love this adult Triceratops. This is a definite must-have for me. I knew that from the start that I was going to be getting the adult Triceratops, but now after seeing this photo, I want it even more. <laughs> now, one thing you'll notice about this Triceratops is that it actually comes with an additional set of horns to indicate if it's an older individual or a younger individual. You you decide. And I'm guessing that explains why the subadult Triceratops uh, figure has like those lines where the horns should be because like it's just a scaled down version of this but it looks really good and i can't wait to get it and here it is again uh on its side with the interchangeable horns and then um we have the boxes for these dinosaurs they're not painted or anything and they're comp in size comparison with the pachyrhinosaurus and jesus christ man these boxes are huge. These, the Taurosaurus and the Triceratops are going to be absolutely massive. I'm actually kind of concerned if, if I'll have space for just the adult Triceratops on my desk. It's actually kind of terrifying. But um, I'm actually really excited about this. I, I'm very stoked to see the Triceratops and potentially the Taurosaurus in my collection. I definitely need to start thinking about building a shelf like to put these things on because my desk is not going to cut it for much longer <laughs> but anyway you guys that's going to wrap up today's video what are your thoughts on the triceratops and the interchangeable horns the torosaurus how about the news regarding the t-rex 135th scale model now being painted the box art for the perceratosaurus and of course the new head sculpt for the dialogue let me know what you what you think in the comments down below let's have a discussion anyway guys that's where i'm gonna have to wrap up the video if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe today hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new link to the discord in the description down below and until next time this is tyrannosepi signing off Alrighty then take care now bye bye then